story time. What's up, YouTube? So in this story, I want to talk about how um, how I really got fucked over, how I really got messed up real bad by people, uh, by relationships. See, I was always like able to pick myself up after every fall I had. After every fall, I was able to almost get myself back up and keep myself going. I was always motivated with life. I never really had any issues like that. But certain people came into my life and talked nice. <laughs> I hate that word nice, but they talked all sorts of um, uh, praise, all sorts of you are so much like that, you are so good, you are so... I've had people even come up to me and say that you are like God. You know, this is the, the, the reason I find this so funny is because it's really sad, but it, it's the truth as well. These same people are the ones that, that turn their back on me in times of need. The same people are the ones that had a vested interest. They just wanted my energy. They just wanted my uh, spotlight, which I was creating for myself. They wanted my spotlight, and then the minute, the minute things uh, changed, the minute anything changed within me, they looked at me as if um, I was nothing. And it's really sad, but the people who are the nicest for no reason always have a reason to be nice. Let me repeat that. The people who are nicest without a reason to be nice to you are usually the ones having a reason behind why they are nice to you. Therefore, they are having a vested interest. Therefore, they are not truly being kind to you. They are just deceiving you. They are deceiving you. And before you know it, you end up giving your energy to them in a positive way and taking on their karmas, taking on their problems, taking on their bullshit because in reality they haven't created a world for themselves and they're lost, they're really really lost and this plays out as them not able to inspire themselves, not able to creatively think for themselves, not able to to really be themselves, they're, they're just and this also happens with religion sometimes you know Nothing wrong with someone who's very um, religious, but even religion is used as a way to manipulate you into thinking someone is greater than you and someone is less than you because they're not following a religion. You know, that's how deep it gets. And even within that religion, if you talk Hinduism, right, you have Vaishnavites and you have Shaivites, and then there's clashes between these two people. It's so messed up. People have forgotten... Um, People have learned how not to be themselves. They have learned how to not be in the present moment. It all comes down to the present moment. If you are tapped into the present moment, you'll be able to feel someone's vibe. If you're in tune, you'll be able to know that, hey, someone is is being a little extra, extra, extra this to me right now. And by, by, by you know being in tune with yourself you will know what is good for you and what is not good for you but it becomes really difficult when you know you're becoming you just have people left and right ready to like throw their ideas into your into your face when in reality you're you're more liberated than you liberated than them you're more happy than them you're more thoughtful than them you're more in the moment than them you're more lively than them and they just have nothing to offer but maybe a couple of money maybe a couple of bands maybe a couple of maybe a couple of whatever you know it takes it takes one to know one if you if you if you've been around people who are very like manipulative you'll know that they lie like this they will go against you like this and before you know it they'll be gone like this and it may be your family members, it may be maybe your own mom, maybe your own dad, maybe your siblings. It's very messed up.
people say you should respect your parents, but what if they don't even respect themselves? What if they're they're lost in some bullshit um, that they are not, aren't able? Like you know, as a child, I would think back and look at. There was a moment in my life when I was like just chilling as a kid, and I just looked at my mom one one moment, you know, just like out of nowhere. But I remember the moment. That's that's what's tripping me out. I remember the moment perfectly. And I saw like that my mom was really lifeless. She she was bored. She was just dull, dead. And I was as a kid I was always wondering like like am I gonna be like that at some point? And then I made a decision in my life. I will never become like an uh, adult. I will never become like someone who is having an all-time crisis. I will be in tune with my own nature. I will be in tune with the kid. And I'll never lose touch with my playfulness. Because it sucks to be an adult nowadays. You're given things that you have to enjoy. You're given a world that you have to live in. You're given rules and regulations. And now you have to live up, live, live in this. I don't want to be an adult like that. I want to be free. I don't want to have to suffer the mental turmoil my parents have been going through to get money. Like, you think I want to earn money if I'm going to have to, like, sell my soul or, like, live a life that isn't abundant in, in, in spirituality? Do you really think I want to, like, sell my livelihood and my ability to be peaceful for some for some money I would turn that down to be honest I'm I would rather live in a peaceful situation with my own home that's not full of luxury and stuff that has what I need and I'll live with that perfectly fine I, like I'm a king I know I am but I'm not gonna like sell my kinglyhood, my ability to be a king for some short term excitement, that's what I see it as short term excitement and your parents or people, if they don't get that they'll never get you in this life you are born to be free, you are not born to work, you are not born to have a passport, you are not born to, to, to have an identity or a number associated with yourself you were born to create that by yourself, not given by some bullshit. Like, do you realize that parents are, like, how does nature function, you know? You think, you think uh, a wolf, after reaching a certain age, is going to still live with its parents? No, it will do its own thing. It will go out of the pack and create its own pack. That's, that's, that's nature. Nature teaches you all the truths. It's, it's, it's society that has it all like um, mixed up in such a disgusting way. That's why I say create your own society. Be your own society. Be your own change. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Because the world is not, is not really liberating. It's more like a prison. And you have to be on a high frequency to understand me when I say that. You have to meditate, you have to go within, you have to tap into your soul in some way, shape or form to understand this, understand this. These words are not coming from my ego, I fuck my ego, they're coming from the deepest part of my consciousness, trying to explain itself through these English words, you know. It becomes difficult when you don't want to speak to certain individuals because by speaking to them, you're connecting to them. And I, and I don't want to connect to certain individuals. I love people. I love being around people. I'm a leader. But like, when I realize that certain people have so much of healing to do, they, they don't heal, so they deceive. That's the reality. They, don't he they cannot heal. They don't want to put in the time to heal, so they'll deceive you. What is this world becoming? Peace.